EKG Burst Part 2, 10 to T waves, prolonged PR interval with P wave flattening and QRS widening with merging into the T wave are electrocardiographic findings consistent with this electrolyte abnormality. This is hyperkalemia. And why is this? Well, hyperkalemia causes an overall membrane depolarization which inactivates voltage-dependent sodium channels. The inactivation of these sodium channels leads to the prolonged PR interval with P-wave flattening as well as the QRS widening. Now what about the peak T-waves? Elevated potassium directly increases activity within certain potassium channels, increasing membrane repolarization, and this appears as tented T-waves on the cardiogram. So elevated potassium has both a direct and indirect effect. The direct effect causes increased membrane repolarization, which manifests as tented T-waves. The indirect effect causes an overall membrane depolarization, which inactivates voltage-dependent sodium channels, and this prolongs the PR interval, flattens the P-wave, and widens the QRS. The direct effect is on potassium channels. The indirect effect is on sodium channels. Junctional escape rhythm can be characterized on electrocardiogram by any of the following. Junctional escape rhythm. Let's start with the P waves. They are negative and may appear before, after, or hidden within the QRS complex. And what about the PR interval? The PR interval is short in junctional escape rhythms. And the typical rate? Typical rate in junctional escape rhythm, 40 to 60 beats per minute. And is the QRS duration normal or abnormal? The QRS is normal. In summary, junctional escape rhythms may demonstrate number one, negative P waves before, after or hidden within the QRS complex. Number two, a short PR interval, and it's usually less than 0.1 seconds if present. Number three, a rate of 40 to 60 beats per minute. And number four, a normal QRS complex. Laungenong-Levine syndrome and Wolf-Parkinson-White can be distinguished on electrocardiogram by the following. Will both have a shortened PR interval? Yes or no? Yes. PR interval is short in both Wolf Parkinson White and Laun Ganong Levine. Will both have a widened QRS? No, only WPW has a widened QRS. Do both have delta waves? No, only WPW has delta waves. So Laun Ganong Levine syndrome and Wolf Parkinson White are similar in that they both have a shortened PR interval but only Wolf-Parkinson-White has a widened QRS and delta waves. What does the term strain pattern mean in reference to EKG interpretation? Strain pattern refers to abnormalities in the STT segment of the EKG that indicate ventricular enlargement. So an example of this would be T-wave inversions in V1 that occur with right ventricular overload. Misplacing these leads will result in a P wave that is inverted in lead 1 and a QRS in lead 1 that is inverted from that in V6. Inverted P wave in lead 1 and a QRS in lead 1 that is inverted from that in V6. This is right left arm lead reversal. And that occurs when the right and left arm leads are reversed. And does right-left arm lead reversal cause right axis deviation on ECG? Yes, it does. Right-left arm lead reversal causes RAD.